Happy Thursday! Thanks for joining me for a craft night with friends. My name is Alyssa Thomas from Penguin and Fish, where we make cute embroidery kits for beginners. And I'm here every weeknight at 7.30, or at 8.30, sorry, p.m. Central Time. And it's a time that we can relax and craft together. So tonight we are going to finish up this lion mane. Uh, we are using turkey work embroidery on the lion mane. And we are just going to trim it and cut it where, however far we get on it tonight. Um, and that is the plan. I think it's going to be so cute. All right, let's get going. All right, everyone. Let's scooch on in. Okay, so here we are. We have all of this floof going already here. And um, I we're almost um, done going up the one side once. I think I want to go around one more time and then we'll trim. Uh, and I think that's probably... I don't know if we'll get more than that done uh, tonight. So that is the plan. Um, so I'm just going through my bin of scraps and I'm gonna use what I can find in, in here tonight. So I'm still gonna try and do the scrappies. So here's another way that I use my old scraps. I turn them into pom-poms. So like this is, um, I wind it on there and then a pom-pom would end up looking, you know, similar to this guy. So those I just have hanging out in my, in my scrap bin here. I'm trying to use like the goofy scraps, like the like single little bits of scraps yet. And I'm using seven strands. So let's see, that's got three, four, five, short piece. This is a super long piece. Four, five, six, seven. Okay. I wonder if I can find a different long piece. Eh, that's kind of short. Fine, we'll just go with that. All right, that's a decent start. I can see uh, the Facebook comments today, so that's that's fun. I haven't been able to see that the past few days. Okay, so this is actually three, or a six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five. Well, we'll just do eight. It's kind of a lot. Actually, I'm gonna take this orange one away because these other ones are really long. Um, so that's five again. Let's see if I can get two more. What's it with this blue one? Oh no, that's hardly any. Little baby pieces in here. That one will go with that one. I might start just grabbing from the, from a different section too where it's not totally all these scraps because I think it'll just go faster. But here's a nice, better long piece. Okay, and that's, well, it's still got three, but so we're still doing eight, but these pieces are longer at least. Okay, green ends right there. Okay, little scrappies. Uh, Grunchen's asking, will you be traveling to see your mom and dad and Chad Kitty tomorrow? I will be. So I will not be uh, live tomorrow because I'll be traveling. Um, but I will be back on... Oh, I missed one. I will be back on Monday. I might actually still be on location at my parents' house, but like, uh, I will be um, live again on Monday. And then we'll be starting the embroidery of the month. There we go. All right, I wanted to quickly do this, but man, getting that floss is a little bit of a bear. Ooh, I'm gonna have 
to um, shush all this hair out of out of my way soon. Oh, I did see uh, the person uh, posting the, the turkey work. Oh, who, who was that though? I forget. Let me know if you're here. Um, I know someone posted their turkey work lion mane in the group uh, today and oh my God, it's so amazing. <laughs> it's so just cute and sweet. And oh man, it, it just makes me want to do like way more of this turkey work. Oh yeah, his little fluff tail. So the tail is done. So we got, we have the tail done. Oh, uh, Kelly says, um, my order shipped today and I cannot wait to get it. Oh, yay, I'm excited. I'm excited for you to get it. Yeah, and our 20% our off kit sale goes till Friday. Um, it doesn't include the embroidery of the month kit, but it does include all the past embroidery of the months. Um, so just letting you guys know on that. And uh, we're doing the uh, uh, mystery gift if you order during the live. Uh, order $20 or more during the live and I'll throw in a mystery gift for ya. For all the live peeps here. All right, you guys. At... Let's say 9.15, no matter what, no matter where we're at, uh, we will start trimming all, all of his fur, all his mane here. Um, I'd like to go around, um, around this bottom again, but if we don't get that far, I will start trimming no matter what, because I want to get whatever we got here trimmed uh, tonight. So obviously we will not finish um, this guy this week. So uh, one of our free weeks or I don't know, maybe next month if we have like some extra time on, on one of our embroideries at the end of the week, we'll have to come back to this guy. So he'll be almost done. We just have to do the letters and then this little roar text, but I'm hoping that uh, the main will be good enough after tonight. We can always add more floof if we think it needs to be, um, like, further out. But I'm thinking this might actually be enough as is. All right, I think one more big loop we can get out of here. Oh, I, I was wondering that too, Catherine. Catherine um, says, I saw the lion that someone did um, posted in the group with the turkey work. And uh, Catherine's saying, I saw the lion too. It was so pretty. I did wonder how many times she went around. I, I was wondering that too. I was going to ask and then I forgot. Uh, but we're just going to go around twice for now. I, I theoretically want to go like three or four times around. Uh, but just for the sake of wanting to cut it all tonight <laughs> for funsies. Uh, we're gonna stick till to uh, one and whatever I get done after this one. So I'm almost, almost done with the one. All right, I'm gonna come up. I got like a couple more stitches. I think what's taking the longest really is like getting all the thread, but eh, that's how it goes. That's what ha happens when you use a pile of scraps. Oh gosh, I got some really, really long, like actually full skeins in here, but I am trying to use from all my like weird mismatchy stuff. All right, so what do we got going on here? Some of these seemed long enough. Okay, this is three, three, so that's six. Oh, those are, geez, about the exact same um, six. So I just need like one. How long are you? Super duper long. What about you? There. Okay. 
Let's add this little baby green. Oh, that one didn't take that long. Seven strands. Little trim right there. Yeah, that was pretty good getting all those pretty similar length. Okay, needle. Hey, Joanne. All right, let's thread this guy. Again, we're trying to go a little super speed tonight just to get get uh, through this whole th guy tonight. All right, I think I just need like one more, uh, maybe two, and then I'm gonna just go around back the other way. Ooh, I am attached to things. Yeah, shoot. I'm pulling, pulling some loops through here. Grr. Okay. I think I'm gonna have to take care of that with the needle here. I'm like stuck on this green, little green bit. So we may have lost, lost one little green thread here, but I think we're fine. <laughs> It's tough when there's all these crazy strands. All right, so one loop here and I'm going to uh, switch directions. Those are fun colors. All right, let's get our little back stitch. All right, next row. So here maybe I'll um, try to make the row a little further out, just, I don't know, maybe it'll feel like it, it's going a little further out on his face, we'll see. Oh, it was uh, Kathy's, Kathy's lion uh, um, over in the Facebook group. It's so sweet. Oh, so, so Kathy, how many times did you go around the head? Like on the sides, I guess, specifically. Uh, if you remember, let me know. I'm only going to do what I can get done tonight, but that doesn't mean I won't go and add more at some point. I mean, it could go all the way out to the original line, but you know, it's gonna extend past that, so I don't think I need to go out that far. My head, though, I'm going like halfway, but you know, <laughs> two two rows is already uh, it's already looking, you know, like a lot going on. I think ideally, maybe I don't know, three or four rows I'd like to do, but again, right now, right now, I'm just doing doing this couple. Ooh, Anne says I got a little beginner punch needle kit in the mail yesterday. Oh, and you finished tonight. It's a cute little unicorn. Ah, fun. I love punch needle. Oh, you guys, I did get some uh, of these bigger punch needles. I got about like um, nine of these in the mail. Um, this is the same kind that I used for my big giant tulip punch needle. Uh, I don't have any other supplies, really. Like, I don't have the monk's cloth or anything like that. But let me know if you would want me to throw those in the shop. Um, I'm not... Like I said, I don't have any of the other supplies. I just, you know, for myself, I use yarn and uh, just whatever yarn, scrap yarn I have in monk's cloth. Um, but I might just throw the um, punch needles up. Yeah, and I don't have, like, any written instructions or anything like that, but <laughs> he's looking cute. But maybe I'll just throw them up there uh, sooner than later. Then those of you who've uh, watched me demo how to do it before or whatever, 
you're interested. We'll have a few in the shop. I just have to photograph it and stuff. Uh, three. Six. I need one more again. I think we have another one of those greens. Great. Okay, so like I said, at 9.15, no matter where I'm at, I'm going to, oh my god, come on, needle. I'm going to tr start trimming. Trimming and brushing. I'm going to get some sort of, some sort of mane done here, no matter what. <laughs> These colors are so bright and fun. Ooh, okay, uh, Kathy says, oh, sorry, I had to leave a moment. It was about four times, so four, so four rounds. So I, I'm only going to have two, so mine's definitely not going to be as pretty and, and thick as, as uh, your guys' little mane was. But it's a start. So I figure, eh, I can always, after it's all cut, I can still always add more, I suppose. But today's going to be the last day I'm on for the week, and I can't leave this guy with his uncut hair. I have to do it. So we are going to just stop wherever and get her done. Well, I gotta I feel like I got a groove now. And I don't know, maybe it'll be good enough. But I, I do like the idea of it, like, thicker on, on his cheeks and sides and stuff yet, but we're not there yet. It's going to take us a while to trim, too. I suspect we got a bajillion little loops here that need to be trimmed. So all these loops, like these, like the folds in the loops, we're going to cut those. So this will actually not look like loops anymore. It'll just look like a bunch of little hairs. Uh, and I think that'll be really, really fun. Just so sweet. So we've already done that to the tail. So it'll look like this tail, except for I'm going to keep it longer. <laughs> There's his little face hidden in there. He's got one of those, like, rainbow, rainbow haircuts. All right, I think... Oh yeah, that's the last loop. So time to get more colors right away. Doesn't doesn't last long. All those big loops. Okay, what else do we got? Ooh, this is a very long piece. If we can find more like that, that'd be great. We'd also fold this in half. So this is three. I think these green pieces were pretty long. Eh, decently long. Three, four, five, six. If we can find a longer piece, that'd be great. Oh, here. That's super long. So I'm going to do the yellow and the blue. I think that's probably plenty. Actually, this might be... One, two... Oh, gosh, this is six strands right here. Six, ugh, seven, eight, nine. That's that's too many. I'm gonna um, six. Let's just take one strand out of this yellow. Then we'll use the yellow later. So zoop, there, easy peasy. One strand out. So this is gonna be six strands of the blue and one strand of this yellow. Normally I would do six strands for for uh, this turkey work, but I just happened, my first time I, uh, to, with um, this project, I started with the seven, so now I've been just kind of going on on the seven. Get some fun combos. 
I keep looking around for my needle and it's sitting right here where it should be. Where did I find the transfer? Oh, you're looking for a sloth. Um, they are actually, uh, Joanne, our patterns. Um, it's my company, Penguin and Fish. And we do have a sloth uh, embroidery kit. It's it's about the size of, of this lion. So all of these are from our alphabet collection of embroidery patterns, but we do have some kits and we do have a kit of a sloth. Um, so if you just head to the link to my website in the bio, um, and if you just literally type in sloth to the, to the search bar, it'll come up right away. And it's on sale right now uh, through Friday. 20% off of all of our kits. But yeah, so all of these are from, they're, they're my drawings um, and they are for my company, Penguin and Fish. All these colors are so fun together. So now this is a little, we're going extra on this one. We're, go, we're stitching through the whole alphabet. This is what this really looks like. Uh, just like a few long stitches for the main, but we're playing around um, while we stitch this, the entire alphabet. So <laughs> clearly going crazy above and beyond on his, his little mane here. Oh, that's true. Um, Gretchen says that you can enlarge and shrink the pattern. Oh, we do have it available as a PDF as well, I believe, too. So the PDF versions, those are easy to um, enlarge and shrink to whatever size you want to stitch it at. And then our kits come with like all the supplies and a hoop and fabric and needle, all those goodies. I really want to get all the way around to the other side of this. How are we doing? Who do we think we can get around the bend up to the other side in 20 minutes? I'm thinking, thinking we're doing pretty good. Gosh, I feel like I'm grabbing piles of stuff back here. Oh, I kind of am. I did have a, like a little mess. Look at the back though. It's so cute. It looks like he has uh, like a warm uh, scarf going around his head, getting ready for, for winter. Tons of stitches on the back from doing this. You guys, the more I do this, the more I want to do a quilt with just tufts all over the place. Like I said, I have those huge cones, those um, uh, like like 2,200 uh, yards or so, um, or I think it's 2,200 or meters, um, uh, or maybe it's 2,500 meters and 2,200 yards or something. I don't remember, but 2,000 some uh, yards of uh, um, embroidery floss on the cones. And I'm like, I just want to take one of those cones and then like all one color um, do like a, quilt that just says like puffs all over it of turkey work it would be it would take years <laughs> to do but it'd be so fun oh it looks like a bike helmet exactly amy little he's got a little bike helmet and then a little floof mistake there that could be his like earbuds or something <laughs> it is kind of funny all right mission here to get as much mane on here as I can. So I'm not concerned at this point, like I'm not like measuring my loops or anything like that because I am gonna just cut them and trim them down to whatever length. So I'm, I'm generally keeping it kind of longer than I am thinking. So I'm just kind of like sliding my thumb up there and estimating a little bit and we're going faster than I've done the other nights so I think I think I think I have just it, it down a little bit better now um, I don't do this stitch very often so it takes me a while to get into it again I think but now I think I got it so 
just trying to cruise through because like I said I do want to trim all this tonight and that that takes some time too but I want to get around uh, to the other side of his head Ooh, we got it's nice working with these big long pieces this one's lasting a while oh it's so fun though seeing all those mixes of colors Oh, Kathy says it on hers, uh, she used the a little metal brush um, to make it even fluffier. So that's what I'm going to do tonight with my little comb, my little brush here. Oh man, you just had to do all your duct work. Ugh, we just had to do something, something similar. A whole pile of furnace shenanigans. But we'll still, we'll have, um, the sloths, uh, will still be available for sure, um, after the sale and everything. Ooh, this feels funny. Okay, I think I can get maybe two more loops out of this one. Let's see. Oh, yeah, yeah. Maybe more. I thought it was a little shorter than this. Yeah, probably just two still. <laughs> it's just so funny. I'm like pushing all of his hair. He really is like he's at the salon. Like the hairdresser is like pushing all his hair to one side across his face, and then and then the other. And... Gotta wait till it's done to, to see what it's gonna be like. Okay, I'm seeing if I can do one more here. Uh, just barely, I think. Before getting the next color, I will take a peek and see what it's looking like. When we brush it back the other way. All right. Ooh, I kind of made this guy short. Oh, well. I think he'll be fine. Plenty of other little hairs. All right. <laughs> Let's shush it out of his face for a sec. <laughs> oh, it's so silly. Okay, so I definitely do think ultimately I'm going to want this mane thicker. But like I said, I'm still going to trim it tonight just because I want to. Uh, but yeah, it would be, like, I like the thickness that we did in between his ears, and I definitely want a little bit more of a feel of that. Maybe not quite as much as here, but at least, you know, half of it, and I think I need, I think I need at least the three around. But, like I said, we're just doing, doing what I can get done tonight, because I want to trim it all up. So let's, uh, we just gotta go, zoop, let's see if we can do that. Okay. Now this is a really long one, if I remember get another super long one that'd be great what else we got in here some weird colors I haven't seen in a while oh here well that's decent length not super long though let's see we got three six Let's find one more. I'm gonna have to save you long yellow. Let's do do you next. Okay. What about what about this? Oh gosh, this is a really long piece. Maybe I can um do it partially here and then the other part can be for the next batch. So I'm gonna have ton tons left. Orange, you're on deck. Oh my gosh, can't fight the magnet. There we go. Oh, I would do a quilt with the different primary colors, all, all squares, uh, do an alphabet 
and prime color quilt. Oh, that'd be so cute. Ah, that would be lovely. That'd be so fun, um, Joanne. Yeah, with the little tufts and stuff. That'd be cool. It would be such a tactile quilt. Because I, I think this is... I mean, I haven't... I don't think I've washed turkey work before. I haven't done turkey work very often. Um, or very much. But it'd be fun to do, like, a little wash test. Because this could be, like, super cute for, like, a... It'd be pretty fancy. A little kid blanket. But, like, it could be, like, a, a cute cute on like a baby quilt like little different colored tufts but yeah you better really like that baby because that's gonna be a, a, <laughs> a major project to do that much turkey work <laughs> but that would be fun just a, a bunch of different colored tufts like little circles or something getting there how are we doing on time okay can I get up the side of the face in like 10 minutes that's the challenge it seems like it should be obvious and easy but this is taking time we're just sucking through the floss that's why In one or two. Oh, no. I can get it. Probably three out of this yet. Two at least. It's feeling weird though. Eh, no, we're fine on the back still. I'm going to go all the way up to his ear uh, Gretchen says I think these flourishes are fun and whimsical they are I'm having so much fun doing it because like on small little projects like this it's you know a perfect excuse to play around with it um, so I'm I'm really liking it too it's so a fun, uh, you know, things I wouldn't get experiment with as much, and we get to play around with them. <laughs> it's so silly, it makes me laugh. Okay, we got a little bit, see how it's thin right here? That's the part that we don't have um, a second row on, so that's, that's the plan yet. Okay, we have these two really long pieces, so we could almost double this up, so um, this will be three. Oh yeah, and we double it up we'd have six and we'd still have a decent decently long piece here Let's see if I can get one more one more little piece oh geez I already made a mess of, mess of this okay and what do we add in here what about this pink Nope, you're short. Green, you were pretty long before. Ah, there we go. Uh, so what was that? Six. So I just this is three. I I don't. I only need one from here. Okay, seven. I'll definitely have to get another. This is not going to last um, this whole way. Probably have to get a couple more yet. Ugh, 
Oh, man, you guys, I think I might have to make an egg after I'm done here. I literally had uh, leftover birthday cake from the freezer for dinner. Uh, and I feel like I got sugar running through my arms. <laughs> like, yeah, I should probably make an egg and say I have some decent food yet tonight. <laughs> Gina says this is still not even going to make a dent in my floss bin. I know, isn't this crazy? Like, it still is, like, densely full. I mean, it was full to, like, here. Uh, but I've been crocheting. I don't have them near me, but I've been crocheting those three, uh, like, three separate doilies out of this floss as well. And that's not making any sort of dent either. So, man. The, uh, the pom-poms, though, once we get going on the pom-poms, those eventually make a pretty decent dent in it. Um, once we start wrapping them all around, around these, then, then it'll start digging in a little bit more. But yeah, I'm feeling like, let's, let's do that. Let's get it all emptied up again and start fresh. Oh, that's the back stitch. Uh, all right, this will probably be the last loop on this one. I like this bright combo. We just gotta get up to there. So, time for some more floss. All right, what else can we get out of here? Jeez, that's a nice long piece. Three, I think this green was long if I remember. Three, four, five. Ooh, this is a good piece. Um, okay. Five, six, seven, eight. Good enough. All right, this might get us to the end. These are all pretty long pieces. Next part, when we start trimming, we are gonna make a nice big mess here. Trimming all the floofs. Okay, good. Phew. Didn't think I even got them all through the through the eye, but we got them. Okay, yeah, I think this is a this piece will get us far enough. We'll just stop whenever whenever this bit's done. This will be our last bit of floss. So wherever this ends. Um, that's gonna be the main for for the night and then we will start trimming I do think eventually I'll maybe go back and do maybe one more row around but eh, if not this will probably be fine too I have left them kind of long so it'll just look be thin Oh, Renee says, I really like the long hairs. It looks like doll, um, the long curls. It looks like a doll hair. It totally does. 
I mean, it would be fun to do like really perfectly sized little loops too and leave them as loops. So you can do, um, you know, traditionally you could do turkey work uh, with like flowers and leave them as loops and just do a whole whole pile of loops around a center, which is kind of what we're doing now. I'm just not doing it like gracefully, I suppose. <laughs> uh, but for this guy, we're going to still trim him up. I think that'll be fun. I feel like I keep forcing these loops through to the back. Did I accidentally grab some of these? Yeah. Pulling them on back up. So I've got to hold all these loops out of the way because otherwise I, as I pull, they're pulling back down. Oh gosh. There. I think I just have a massive a little bit of a mess on the back that everything's snagging on. I think we'll get done right when I was hoping to get done here at, at 9, 9.15 and then we'll start trimming. I think that will take a little bit of time. We gotta cut every single one of these loops. Okay, I think this one and one more will do it. It's like the exact amount of loss that we needed. Thanks, Sarah. All right, last loop. And then I need to do the little back stitch, and then we'll come up with the excess. And I think I'll just, ugh. Oh my gosh, we are stuck on something. There we go, God. We're just stuck on all, all the massive floss in the back. All right, and I'm just gonna kinda come up right there. Oh jeez. So much floss in the poop. <laughs> I threw my needle over there. I meant to, I was, in my head I was throwing that extra piece of floss back there. All right, we are really pulling on this guy. So let's floof him apart. Let's see. <laughs> oh my god, it's so cute. <laughs> All right, the loops are really cute. It would be fun to keep the loops. Um, if I didn't keep the loops, I would just trim down all these little extra long pieces. Um, and, uh, uh, look at it on the back though. That's just so fun. All those bright colors around. Oh, Robin. Okay. Perfect. Uh, that's, that's what I did. I, I combined your order. So, um, they should both be together, but thanks so much. All right. Let's get at it. Here is the final, um, final with the, with the loops. I think it looks cute as is. And then now we'll go in and I will um, trim all of these, these up. So I'm just going to like lay it here and I don't know, maybe we'll go around the edge first. I'm just going to kind of pull up uh, and try and get all the loops. I mean, these are, there's so many loops, so it's going to be hard to get them, but they, I won't be able to brush through them if I don't get them all. So my my brush will like get stuck on it. So there's that at least. But I'm, I'm gonna just try and get them all as I go. So I'm trying to be a little organized about it, I guess is my point. Okay. Some of them are a bit shorter than others. And we're gonna have little fuzzles everywhere from, from doing this too. I'm just trying to make sure to like cut it at the highest point if I can. So I'm not 
cutting them in half by accident. <laughs> so here's here's the one side uh, kind of cut and the other side as as loops still. Oh, you ordered today. Oh, okay, Robin. Um, I think I shipped. I'll have to I'll have to see if I can grab it grab it yet, but I think I shipped yours um, today. Alrighty. So it may have to go in a new package. So, like I said, we're going to trim all these loops and then I'll run the brush through it. And I'm just going to stay till this is done tonight um, in case this takes longer than I think. Um, but yeah, so uh, we're getting all the loops first, run the brush through it, and then I will start like a real haircut on this guy. So we'll get it, everything the length that we want. It's gonna take a while to go through that all that top hair. Oh geez, all sorts of little guys in here that I didn't get. All right, I think we got the sides and the bottom trimmed. <laughs> Just makes me laugh. Uh, Aunt Baby is asking, I may ask what this dish is called. It is called uh, turkey work. So it starts off, it's basically uh, two rows of back stitch uh, that you do at the same time. So like a stitch here and then a stitch down here, a stitch here and a stitch down here. But the top stitches are big loops. You just leave them as a big loop. So you can kind of see if we look at the back of it. You have a big loop and then you do a back stitch and then another big loop and then a back stitch and it's those back stitch back stitches that are holding it all down uh, and they start out as these loops and uh, what's the best way to do this let's go from like this um, and then then you can trim them that's what i'm doing now and i'm gonna run a brush through them and that will separate all the strands so it'll make it extra floofy in this case it's embroidery floss so it'll just um separate each strand so it'll be just like stringier and less less um bunched together and then we'll give it a, like we'll style it basically give it a cut and style this is tricky though there's a lot of loops in here so i'm just gonna run the scissors through and just keep trying to catch loops And then we'll have piles of little teeny bits of floss everywhere that I'll have to clean up. Missed a few in there, it feels like. I'm getting like little hidden loops. Thought maybe I was just getting tangled, but I think those are still loops in there. Definitely. Go from this angle. I'm not gonna be able to brush through it if I don't get all these loops, so that's why I'm just taking my time. All right, I think that might be it. Um, we will know in a sec if there's more. <laughs> so there he's a little floof. So here's where I'm going to take uh, my little brush here. Oh, no problem, Aunt, 
uh, baby. Um, all right, and now, uh, so this is where I'm gonna brush it out, but uh, you can kind of see some of these. You see the full, uh, uh, like, several skeins of thread all wound up together. We're not gonna have that big of an issue, um, or we don't have to split so many with this because it already is just like a bunch of random colors. So we've already, we started with a bunch of floss that was already split pretty much because we just combined threads. <laughs> this is just so silly looking at it all brushed out. Uh, but we're just trying to separate the threads even more. So you can see like each individual skein or each individual thread instead of them being, being twisted around each other. But <laughs> it's just looking like silky and uh, nice blended. Oh, it's funny. It makes me laugh. Okay, I'm going to move this guy out of the way. Just because I don't want to catch the needle on the brush. So it's actually staying in position a little bit more than I thought it was going to. Because the back stitch is on the back, I it, it kind of wanted to fold in on itself. But it, it's actually staying this way. And I don't, I mean, I think that's pretty decent. Like, I don't even think I need to go around any more times. I mean, we got, like, tons of extra floof on the top compared to the rest, but I think that's kind of the look I was going for. Like, we can even... <laughs> Whoosh! She got in the wind there! <laughs> oh, silly. Could do a whole, like, stop motion with just his animation with just his hair. So I'm gonna get it all, like, perfectly round and spread out, and then I think I'm just gonna go around and trim. I don't think I need to do too much other trimming. I think it's looking fun, as is. Like, I like the layers that are happening in his bangs up here. I do want to just get the roundness of the face, so, or of the, the edge. So I'm just gonna try and brush out in a circle. And then we'll get in there. <laughs> oh gosh, it's so funny. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to hold it up to do this. Actually, I'm kind of wondering if I should get a different scissors too. Yeah, I think this will work fine. All right, let's give it a try. I'm just gonna try and just like get the outer edge cleaned up. Then we'll move it around a little bit again and try and get it again. <laughs> uh, this makes me laugh. So yeah, those whiskers are a bit long down there. So we're done. I'll just shake this around and we'll get rid of all these extra fuzzles. Just have to make sure that I don't accidentally cut one of my threads that's in the hoop or anything. <laughs> Give it a little beard trim. Um, do I have a kit for this? Um, I don't have a, um, I mean, I do actually have it as a kit. I have a kit of the lion without the L, but this is the original lion. It is, um, just, just some stitches, some long stitches for, for it. So we went, um, above and beyond, uh, just to play around, um, with, with this. So I don't have... It doesn't include like how to do the turkey work or anything like that. Um, but for the the line itself, there is there is a kit for it. It's actually on clearance. It's one of our clearance kits, so you get it the clearance price plus the extra uh, twenty percent off because we're having a sale on kits right now. But yeah, so it's not with all the excess, but. Um, these videos are going to be uh, sticking around um, on on YouTube, and I might do a little edit of them um, for TikTok on just how to do the turkey work stitch. So there'll be those videos to refer back to if you did want to um, do it with the big floofy mane instead. <laughs> it's so silly. <laughs> okay, that made it look like really nice. All right, let's, let's just try and, I'm gonna have to brush it again, but let's just, oops, scissors. Uh, let's just like, I'm just gonna run my hand through it. See if I can get it off of the, 
actual embroidery a little bit. <laughs> I think the back's really cute too. Man, that used a lot of floss though, but that was that was the point. That's what I wanted to do. All right, so now I need one of those little brushes that hairdressers have to like, or like barbers have to shush off the extra bit. But I just wanted to um, shake it off and I'm gonna just do a little double check. Let's shape it again. If there's any weird ones sticking out anywhere. Oh, no, that one's... I think some of it's just coming off of my brush here. <laughs> it is so silly. Oh my gosh. Let's get his tail a little bit. There we go. Little ears. Okay, I think that is just the silliest little guy and you know, it's it's long on the sides too. Like it, he's got a long a long mane there. <laughs> okay, I have to make a quilt using some of this turkey work cuz this would just be so fun as like little little poofs around. All right, you guys. I think we'll end it there. That is so freaking silly and cute. I love how this turned out so much. Um, so, all right, you guys. We won't. We clearly didn't finish it all the way. We got to do this. Um, we'll do this little roar here. Actually, I don't even know if I want to do that anymore. Maybe I won't do the roar. Um, we'll have to get some water to like take off our water soluble marker and and the circle here. Um, but I do want to do this L yet, so uh, <laughs> I just want to pet it. Okay, uh, so that we will finish um, probably next month when we work on the next letter. Uh, M, M and N will be uh, um, next month, the first and second week of the month. So M, uh, which is actually coming up, we're a week late this, this month, so uh, next week... Uh, starting Monday, we'll be stitching the embroidery of the month. And um, so this will start on Monday. So we'll do this Monday through Friday. And then actually we're back to, we don't have a free week this week uh, because we did it at the beginning. So actually we'll be doing the next uh, the next two really quickly here. So uh, like two weeks, uh, starting August 1st or whenever the first week of August is, we'll be doing monkey and then the second week we'll be doing the newt i don't know i like him so much he's one of my favorites i think <laughs> smiley little newt uh and monkey classic um but those will probably go pretty quickly and with our extra time that we have at the end of the week for those we'll finish up this guy as well and then we have a few that are ready to to quilt we have um the k that we need to quilt so uh, there's that, and then we have the giraffe that we're doing the hand quilting for. We did some turkey work on, on his tail, uh, too. So this we just have, like, these couple extra little circles that we're hand quilting. So there's plenty of little uh, parts to do on all these now um, with our little extra time in case we get them done a little bit earlier. But oh, I just want to keep touching it. It's so pretty. <laughs> all right, you guys. Uh, all right, so I'm, uh, like I said, super happy with how this turned out here. Here he is, so fluffy. <laughs> so I, I just love it. So awesome. Thank you guys again uh, for joining me. I won't be here tomorrow, but I will be back here uh, on Monday. I'll probably actually still be on location, but we will start the Luna Moth uh, Embroidery of the Month on Monday. And uh, yeah, our sale goes through tomorrow. So 20% off of our embroidery kits, uh, minus the embroidery of the month, but all our other, including clearance kits, are 20% 20, 20 off uh, through Friday. So check that out. And uh, I will leave uh, the card open for, you know, mystery gifts for another 10 minutes or so. So order uh, now or during the live, um, and like another 10 minutes or so. And I will, uh, if you order $20 or more, I will throw in a mystery gift for you, a free mystery gift. So thanks again. Have a lovely, lovely, uh, rest of your week and I will see you Monday. Good night.